Hello everyone, it's Thatch. Today I'm gonna be doing something different. I've just bought a new toy. Uh, it's called a pen tablet. It's kind of an input device uh, which allows me to uh, write and draw on the screen as if I'm holding a pen or a brush. And I'm actually holding a pen type device. And uh, well, it's very handy. Uh, it's very useful. So uh, I just wanted to uh, do something on YouTube with this pen tablet. So I think I'm going to do some lecture on uh, how to write kanjis on shogi pieces. Uh, I noticed that some people, uh, some of the viewers often tell me that uh, they're thinking of making a shogi board in pieces by themselves. Uh, so hopefully this video would be uh, pretty useful for those people. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, draw a shape of shogi piece. Okay, here we go. Right, how's that? Uh, well, it's a bit too wide. And let's try to make it more uh, real. Okay, it looks better. Okay, we're done. How's that? It looks like a real shogi piece, right? Okay, so let's start with a uh, king. So I'm gonna show you how to write a uh, king general in kanji. First of all, you start with uh, this horizontal line from the top. Oh, the line is too thin. Okay, a little bit bigger. And then a vertical one here. And two horizontal lines, short one, and the longest one. Yep. And this kanji means a king. So if it's a king general, this is the kanji. And if it's a jewel general, uh, you need another dot here at last. Okay? Okay, then we'll go to the second letter. Uh, it's general. Uh, first, you draw a vertical line a little bit left from the center like this and then one dot here and another one in this direction and then on the right side uh, you sweep to the left and make a three dots here last one is this direction and long horizontal line and then vertical and sweep a little bit crossing here and then lastly you make a dot in the center so this is King General. Well, I'm not a good writer, so it doesn't look very good. <laughs> but it's correct kanji, at least. Uh, so basically, uh, this means the king, and this one means general. Okay? And, uh, well, sometimes you can also uh, make the left side uh, with older kanji style, and which is uh, the vertical line is the same, but now we can go like this, and then like that. It looks cooler than the normal one. All right, so let's go to the next piece. Okay, let's uh, write a gold general. Okay, the goal starts with uh, this shape. You make a hat with two lines, uh, this way and this way, and two horizontal lines, and then one vertical, and a dot here, and a second one, sweep, and the last one a little bit longer, like that. And the general is the same, so let's go fast. Okay, so as always, uh, this kanji means a gold. Okay, all right, now let's go to a silver. Okay, first 
uh, the letter silver is uh, you write a gold uh, only on the left uh, which means like this and you make this one a little bit shorter and here you sweep this last one moving toward the right upper and then uh, a little box two horizontal lines and vertical and sweep it and another one on this direction and lastly this direction and the general is the same yep uh, so this means silver and you can see uh, this part is gold right well uh, gold and silver are similar they're both metal okay now uh, well let's write the promoted side of a silver okay uh, let me copy uh, this piece right so uh, promoted side let's write it in red and the back side of a silver is a gold right and it's cursive style of gold so let's first write a gold uh, for reference here okay a hat uh, two lines vertical and two little lines now uh, the cursive style for promoted silver goes like this well it depends on the writing style uh, but usually the hat and then well all the same as a gold but but usually they connect these two lines like that and the last one so this is a promoted silver okay now let's go to a knight Okay, here's the knight. First, you make a short horizontal line and a long vertical line and sweep to this direction and little line here. And then, on the right, uh, you make a short horizontal line here and a vertical one and a bit longer one here. And then you make another one below that. So, uh, this kanji means uh, Cassia. Oh, and actually, this part on the left, it means a tree. Well, uh, a kanji for tree, it goes like this. You see, it looks like a tree, right? Anyway, it's a narrow version of a tree. Okay, so uh, let's go to the second word. Yeah, the horse. In Japanese, a knight is a cashier horse. So let's write a horse here. Okay, here we go. Uh, first, you make a vertical line and a short horizontal line and, an, and another vertical one here. And two short horizontal lines and here's a tricky one. And it goes like this, and it curves and sweep. Okay? And here comes four dots, one to this direction, and other three in this direction. So this is a horse. Well, it originated from a uh, drawing of a horse. It looks like a horse, doesn't it? I don't know. Okay, so let's go to the promoted side. Uh, yeah, it's also a cursive style of gold. So, uh, yeah, the gold, gold is like this. Right? Uh, so, the style, the, so the cursive style for promoted knight is, uh, yeah, you make this hat. And then a short dot, a short one 
and then you connect all other ones like that it's pretty difficult for me too uh, so that was the night okay now let's go to yeah a lance okay uh, first you sweep to the left like this and then horizontal line here a vertical line and the long hat just like that on the gold and you make a little box like this and then two lines here and then the second letter it goes horizontal line you make a box here too you make two lines here and the longest one comes over to here and then finally uh, a long vertical one here so uh, this letter means incense incense uh, is my spell correct? Uh, no I don't think so maybe, maybe we don't need a C right oops sorry it was wrong it was C incense and uh, well this means basically a uh, wheel but it also means a uh, car sometimes and in case of shogi it means a chariot a chariot so it's incense chariot okay let's go to the promoter side uh, so let's write a goal anyway here as a reference uh, in case of promoted lens uh, you make a little hat on the top and then you switch over to here and make a long line and then and make the vertical one uh, pretty longer like this and connect the rest like that okay so this is a promoted lens so uh, now okay let's go to the pawn okay uh, yeah a pawn it starts from this vertical line from the top and then a short horizontal line and another vertical line here shorter one and here comes a long vertical line I know horizontal line like this okay and then you make a vertical short one here and sweep to the left and one dot in this direction a second dot in this direction and then you make a long sweep toward the left bottom okay and then a second letter is uh, you sweep to the left here you make a vertical line and horizontal vertical and a long horizontal line and sweep to the left and lastly a dot in this direction oh it doesn't look good sorry uh, but basically uh, this kanji means uh, to walk and this one means a soldier so uh, this word means a foot soldier okay okay let's go to the promoted side a uh, promoted side is uh, very simple it was also a cursive of a gold but it doesn't look like a gold at all so let's just write it here you just make two lines here uh, one is this line and another one is curves like that Oops. yep so uh, in Japanese it's called tokin uh, the reason is this shape looks very similar to a hiragana which can be read as to so it's called a tokin okay finally let's go to the major pieces these are the most complicated ones okay uh, so first of all a rook okay a rook starts from a complicated line uh, it goes like this and curves here and then sweep up and two dots here and then you make a vertical line here and you sweep to the left here 
and another one from here and you make the same set as uh, the first three lines from here so so it starts from here and it curves here and then sweep up and two dots here okay and then this is something you've already seen yeah a chariot a chariot so uh, uh, this rook literally means uh, flying chariot okay so now uh, let's go to the promoted side and the uh, well promoted side is a uh, dragon king and it's usually written by a cursive style so before writing that one uh, let's just write it in a normal style first uh, so first of all uh, dragon dragon is goes like that watch carefully one two three four and five and then six seven eight and nine and on the right one two three and then four and sweep up and, th and finally three lines here so this is a dragon uh, and we also have a simpler style for this kanji uh, it goes like this well this part is same as this one but then you make a box here and go like this so this is a simpler one okay and after dragon uh, is a king and you already know the king right yep this so uh, basically this uh, is dragon and this one is king okay uh, so let's write this one in a cursive style and I've never actually written this before so I might not be correct in writing this but let me try so uh, here and you connect all these lines you make this one here and go all the way to here and uh, a long line to the left and tricky one here and two lines here oh and sometimes we add another one finally here okay and then the king I uh, would just connect all the lines so like yep dragon king really cool uh, now let's go to the bishop okay uh, bishop goes like that first you sweep to the left and you go horizontally and make a corner there and you go to the left again okay. and you go vertical and you make another corner here and sweep to the left and two horizontal lines and lastly a vertical line and the second one is uh, you sweep to the left twice and a vertical line here and two horizontal lines one shorter one longer and then you make the last one like this and sweep so uh, this one means angle and this one means to go so it's like angle goer or diagonal goer uh, so it's a bishop okay now let's go to uh, the promoted side and uh, that's dragon horse right so uh, let's write that in the normal style so you already know the dragon and uh, the horse you already know the horse right
and usually we make it a little bit different from uh, Dragon King for some reason. A long line here, and it gets a little bit different from the Dragon King, and then finally a dot here, and the horse, uh, one long line, and then goes around, finally stops right here. Dragon horse. Okay, so that's all. I've written all the pieces, so I hope it's been helpful. Uh, if you're trying to make pieces on your own, please make the best use of this video. Alright, so thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time. Goodbye.